we talk during the break, breaks ah. and we get in, we get into the deepest discussions quickly and we do and uh, the person that perpetuates all that is here with us today Amy, <laughs> Amy Bell welcome to the show thank you so much it's good to <laughs> be back you, good to be back you've been here several times and you come yes. at least twice a year to talk about continuing education and we got one of the, our favorite guys on the front cover, that great. Fred Wolf. He's yeah. the horseman, and he's got such an awesome personality. We love him. He it. does, and I'm excited to feature him on the catalog. Now, what is he, what's he going to be teaching? How to so he teaches, he's going to be teaching two classes this time, and he has taught coping with your fear of horses for us um, okay. several times. He's been on a yeah. break, you know, he's very busy. He is busy. And so yeah. he's back to teach that. And that's all, you know, that's, it's at his ranch, and it's for people who really are, are intimidated by horses, have that fear well, of getting on a horse. That. Oh, uh, yeah, they do. Before, yeah. And I have actually been out there with, with him when he's taught the class before, just to see, you know, how it all works. And he truly is a horse whisperer. Oh, definitely. And he has a way with horses, but he has a way of making those students feel super comfortable around the horses, too. And so you spend a day out there with him. Mm -hmm. um, getting used to the horse. It's a great class. Yeah. He's also doing um, a freebie called Wild Mustangs, because I don't know if you know, Fred is very involved yes, in the yeah. Wild Mustang mm -hmm. movement here in the United States. And so it'll be more like a informational, you know, mm -hmm. he serves on the, the federal yeah. Mustang, I forgot the name of board, you know. Right. So, um, so it's super interesting stuff. He, he has is, so yeah. much information to share. Sure. It's exciting to have him share with us. and. What other things that we <laughs> talked about the photography class, the right brain photography? Yeah, we have a new yeah. class. We have a new instructor in photography. Yeah. Um, I, w I first want to give a shout out to our, our, okay. our um, current photography instructor, Crystal Earl. She has um, such a following and has done such a fantastic job building our photography classes. And um, she does, you know, the basic, the intermediate, and the advanced photography. Okay. So if you want to get started, she's, she's the way to go, and she is just awesome. But we have a new gentleman that just moved to Eureka Springs, and his name's Eli Vega, and, or Varga. And he um, came from Colorado, and he's written a book called Right Brain Photography. And it is a very artistic way of photographing mm -hmm. and combining photographs through light and shadow and images really interesting and my question outside was, the box is kind of very yeah. much outside the box and yes. when we were talking about earlier i said so he photoshops and you said no no he doesn't that's what's really interesting he showed me photograph after photograph and i asked that same question because i just took photoshop class mm -hmm. and i was like oh so how did you do that in photoshop and he said i don't wow so it's really interesting so yeah. if you're a photographer and you've got some skills i, I would say this this would great be a great class or another level of yeah just completely fun. different than just taking photographs He's, he's anything fun. anything else that you want to point well, out that's I want to mention about him again. Yeah. He has a class here that says make money with your photography. Also. Yeah, in your spare yeah. time. Which, which is, is which a lot of photographers don't. I mean that you know they, they go out and take a great picture and people say, "Oh, I like that picture," but that's all you get out of it. Exactly. So he's going to talk about how to how to actually uh, get uh, compensated for your I, photography. Yeah, I hope so. You know, we have such a, a big a group of people in our community who are into photography really mm -hmm. really into photography mm -hmm. and so hopefully this will give yep. them a chance to sign market their stuff Good. okay but, but i want to talk about our camps okay yes, for the summer too right. i want to mention those we have a softball and if camp up one of these brochures you'll find yeah camp in the middle in you'll too. find camp information one that you won't see in there is our um, softball camps for girls k through 12. so no matter what age you know your kiddo is needs softball mm -hmm. here we go they're one day camps 25 dollars it's okay. you know, such Very a steal. And so and what's the age group? Seychelle Mahoney is our yeah. you know, coach, and she's putting on the camps age, ages 5 through 18. Okay. You, know, you come, and they're going to work with you on your skill level, oh, so whatever good. it is. Good. Um, but, yeah, but you'll see in the middle of <clears throat> the catalog there, we've got our tech camps. Those are for um, if you're entering grades 6 through 9, and we've got two different camps. One is our robotics camp. Uh -huh. And one is called Design and Construct, where you design something in AutoCAD and then you go into the woodworking room and you actually create that. Oh, that's cool. We started these last year. We only take 25 students in each because we have to have that you know, student to, te to teacher right. ratio. Right. Um, and they filled up very quickly. And we just have a few spots left in each. They're super affordable. They're 125 yeah. each, which is crazy cheap for yeah. a, a week-long camp. 
So I just want to get the word out about those. And then, of course, our basketball camps that we do, you know, every summer, right? I bet that's pretty And popular. so, we, yeah, we're doing K through 6th grade for our basketball camps okay. this year. And, gosh, I mean, that's something that's been around way before my time yeah. and just a fabulous opportunity for our young athletes. So I want to get kids to come out for those. Yeah. 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 Good. All right. Now, everything wow. you can enroll online with us at okay. northark.edu slash CE. Or you can call me, 391-3100, for any of these. We can okay. get you enrolled. Good deal. And they start, well, anyway, probably around June, maybe? S some start, yeah, start. June. And, like, our boaters' education is this Saturday, May 21st. You need so to get that. If you need that, it's be yeah, sign up I have that. confidence. <laughs> you, probably We're need to, you probably need to take that class. I've already taken what I need. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Amy, Thank thanks you so guys. much Thank for coming you. by. Thank you so much. much. And everybody pick up a brochure. Uh, yes. Did the Harrison Daily Times put they this? They were in the Harrison Daily okay. Times this last week, and these. they're all over town. All over town. Mm -hmm. Pick it up and they're continue everywhere. They're everywhere. your education. <laughs> yes. It helps with brain exercise. Absolutely. You bet. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Amy. Thank you thanks. so much. Up next, we have Wanda Massigale, and we have, who's the dog? Dalton. Dalton is the dog, and we'll be talking to Dalton here in just a few minutes. This is a cool dog. You'll want to stick around for this. Stay with us. You're watching 726 right here in Harrison, Arkansas.